What's going on YouTube? It's Dark Lord Destro. Just want to show you a little bit about uh, using the All Pro Football Editor for offline purposes. Um, I think this is where you can be able to do as you please and, and be able to make uh, custom NFL rosters. Although you won't be able to take them online, but if you want to, you know, create them for yourself or for your homeboys or for for the sim community, you can do that. And I will show you uh, how to do it. It's real simple. It's actually easier than online. But but because yeah, you have a lot more uh, leeway, there's more flexibility involved. So once again, before you start any hexing whatsoever, I always tell people to have a plan. What do you want to do? Since it's offline, you pretty much have the freedom to do as you please. You know, you can create an NFL league and create a college football league and create a league of your own. Um, the examples I'm about to use you, I'm about, I'm about to show you. I'm about to use uh, SFL teams, and um, let's get started. Okay, before we get started, as I said before, you always want to make sure that your auto save is turned off. So let's go to options. Go to load save. Go to auto save. Auto save needs to be turned off. Okay? Then from that point, you're going to go to save settings. Okay? So make sure you go in, save your settings. Once that's done, you come back to the screen. Okay, as I said a minute ago, I'm using SFL teams for example here because before you go into the editor, you must have eight teams created. Make sure that you have all eight teams created because what's going to happen is once you take the flash drive to the editor and the editor, when you select offline mode, the editor is going to know that you don't have eight teams created. Have a uh, program that that fail safe inside the editor because there were errors with people who only created, you know, one team, two teams, what have you. So you want to make sure that you have eight team, all eight team, all eight teams created before you go into the editor. I had that here already, as you can see. So now we're going to save the roster on flash drive. Okay, now we're going to take the flash drive over to the computer. Let it go through this thing. Let's go to the editor. All right, now let's go open it up. The file we just uh, saved on. Here we go. Rebuild roster file for offline mode. We want to say yes. A warning. Are you sure? This will reconstruct the roster for offline use only. Once again, if you want to do online, you use online. You say no. If you want to do offline, you say yes. The reason why? Because once you go offline, that's it. You're at the point of no return. You can't go back and fix it. Okay? You can't say, oh, well, I made a mistake and I want to do online. No. You got your warning right here. If you want offline, you say yes. If you don't want offline, you say no. It's that simple. Okay. Of course, right here represents all eight of your teams, your created teams. Okay, so... Like I said, with offline mode, you can pretty much do as you please. So I'll say Dan Marino, and I'm just using for examples here. I mean, Dan Marino, you can change anything you want. You know, doesn't matter if you're online or offline mode. You can pretty much change all of this. Now, when it comes to the names, this is where it gets great. It's great for offline because now you can type anything you want. So you can change Dan Marino's name. You can say, you know what? Your name going to be Fred Flintstone. Okay? You can change this photo if you want to. One thing I will say, this is for offline and online. If you have a true legend, like he was originally a legend player, you can change his face, but it has to be a legend's face. 
It cannot be a generic face. If you do this, then you're going to have the distorted face, and you don't want that. Man walking around looking like he's all distorted and whatnot, eyeballs all the way down to his neck. You don't want that. So make sure if he's originally a legend player, you have to ensure that he has a legend's face. So you can change a white dude into a black dude. You can do all that stuff. does not matter, but these have a legend's face. Okay? So I'm not going to do that. But, you know, the main thing is the difference between offline and online mode is that you can change the names just by deleting it and typing it in. Okay? Everything else is pretty much the same for you know, animations. You can change throwing motions here, play action uh, motions, the high step. You can give Lama the head slap. You can get the get low stance like Hester, Lester Hayes does. It. This is also this is also online as well. Um, same with abilities, same as attributes. But right here, we change the name to Fred Flintstone. Okay. I'm going to accept it, and I'm going to save it. Close this out. Now I'm going to go back. I just want to load up this real quick. I want to show you how we renamed Dan Marino to Fred Flintstone. See, look at him. Fred Flintstone, right there. Dev chart. Fred Flintstone. You see? So you have the ability to change the name just by typing it in because you're offline you're in offline mode. Okay? Okay, let's go back to the I'm just, sorry, let's go back to the laptop for a moment. Actually, I apologize. I didn't show it to you. Let me go back to there you go. Fred Flintstone. Okay. I've got to change my screen and the and the the program here to show it to you. See Dan Marino's name? He's no longer Dan Marino, it's Fred Flintstone. See? Fred Flintstone. Okay, and let's go back to the editor. Now that you get, now that you've reconstructed your roster file for offline, it will no longer ask you that question. Now it automatically knows that it's offline because it's been reconstructed to work for offline only, and therefore it doesn't ask anymore. It goes right to the uh, player screen. Okay. Once again, you have the freedom. You can go in here and change any player. Each team has forty-two players on it. So you can go in here and change any name you want. You know, change the first name, last name. Um, now, I do know that I had some issues with, like, last names of Thompson, uh, Hankton, Kyla K, Fouts, and there's one more name. And for some reason, even, even though if I type in the name, the game freezes when he's on offense for some strange reason. And so this happened during season six with uh, with uh, the New York Sailors team. Got a, a raw receiver, last name Kyle K, and he was like the third or fourth receiver. And once he got on the, got on the field, the game froze up. And so I believe those names, although it's offline mode, you cannot put those names in: Thompson, Fouts, Hankton, Nickerson, and there's another name. That escapes me right now. I can't remember at this moment. But for the most part, you can type in any name, you know, you deem fit. Okay? Something else, you know, for guys who want to create the NFL, um, you can go to, let's say, these are eight creative spots. You can go to, let's say, let's go up here and just pick a random computer team. You can go in here and say, you know what? I'm going to, you know, Make one of these teams the S. Oh, I'm sorry, the NFL team. Because what you want to do is remember you've got 24 computer teams. You have eight creative teams. It's a total of 32. So what I would do is say, hey, you know what? 
I will create the NFC East and NFC West with my eight created spots, NFC East, NFC West, and then with the remaining 24 teams, I'll just create the rest of the league. And you can do it that way. Um, that's how some guys are doing it. And then from that point, you know, you can go through your uniforms. Now, this kind of goes into, into that uniform video, but I want to show you real quick since I'm on the subject is that now it doesn't matter if it's a created player, I'm sorry, a created team or a created player. You can go in and give them uh, an NFL, um, a NFL uh, uniform. So we're going to use the wearables right here. Okay, right now, obviously, their uniform is not in the editor. So let's go ahead and click this, the blue folder. Just put any old thing, blah, blah, blah. Hit OK. No. Okay, now their uniforms are saved in our editor, but we're not doing that. So let's give the werewolves. I don't know, the New York Jets, New York Titans throwback uniforms, okay? So we give it to them. Just want to double check here. Alrighty, we save it. Take it back to the Xbox. Let's load the file up. Set up through all the computer teams. Right there, remember, they were the werewolves. They had blue jersey and white pants. Look at it now. They got the Jet logo. Okay? These are our, these are our guys are creating NFL uh, teams. That's what they do. They, uh, they, they create the NFL uh, teams. They create their uniforms. They use a uniform uh, editor. So they save all the uniforms in the editor. And then all you're doing is giving out, once you get done programming your, your players, you know, put, changing their names, height, weight, whatever, all you're doing is applying the uniforms onto the computer player. The same way you do creative players, I'm sorry, creative teams, you apply the NFL or whatever uniforms to the computer players. Let's say, for example, you don't want to mess with not anything else. And like I said, I'm going off a little bit with the uniforms. But let's just say you want to say, hey, you know what? I don't like the, 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 the computer team's uniform. They're just ugly. They're whack. I don't like them. How about this? Let me re redesign all the uniforms, put them in the editor, and then I want to give these guys different uniforms or new, refresh new uniforms. No problem. You do the same method I just showed you, and they'll work. So now let's start this game. Okay. So you see oh, we have the It is Tails. As you see, we are playing Death Chart. There's Fred Flintstone. Simple. Okay. So I think that's about it. And actually, yeah, let's just make that it. I'll make another video later on about other stuff with the editor. But yeah, that's pretty much how you use the editor for offline purposes. It gives you the luxury of creating uniform. I'm sorry, it gives you the luxury of just changing the names, anything you want for the most part, except for those four names I just mentioned. And you're able to replicate the NFL without any boundaries. To Dark Lord Death, draw them out. If you have any questions, concerns, just put them in the comment section. Peace.